1. What is Prometheus? Prometheus is an open-source monitoring system that scrapes time series metrics from various sources, stores them efficiently, and offers powerful querying capabilities. 2. What is Prometheus monitoring used for? Prometheus monitoring is used to track the health and performance of applications, infrastructure, and services. It allows you to identify bottlenecks, diagnose issues, and ensure smooth operation. 3. What is PromQL? PromQL is the query language used in Prometheus to retrieve and analyze time series data. It allows you to filter, aggregate, and visualize metrics. 4. Why would you use Prometheus and Grafana together? Prometheus gathers metrics, and Grafana transforms that data into informative dashboards and graphs. 5. What are targets in Prometheus? Targets are the sources from which Prometheus scrapes metrics. These can be applications, servers, or any entity that exposes metrics through an HTTP endpoint. 6. What are some common metric types in Prometheus? Gauges represent a value at a specific point in time, for example, CPU usage. Counters track the total count of events, for example, number of HTTP requests. Histograms capture the distribution of values over time, for example, response times. Summaries similar to histograms but provide additional statistical insights. 7. What are exporters in Prometheus? Exporters are programs that translate metrics from specific applications or services into a format consumable by Prometheus. This allows Prometheus to monitor various technologies. 8. How do you ensure the scalability of a Prometheus system? Scalability is achieved through features like horizontal scaling, adding more servers, and sharding, partitioning data across multiple servers. 9. How can you write alerts in Prometheus? Prometheus uses alerting rules to define conditions that trigger alerts when specific metric thresholds are breached. Alert Manager, a separate tool, handles routing and notification of these alerts. 10. How can you troubleshoot high memory usage in Prometheus? Analyze the retention period of metrics, optimize scrape configurations, and leverage external storage solutions for long-term archival. 11. Explain the concept of service discovery in Prometheus. Service discovery allows Prometheus to automatically find and scrape metrics from targets without manual configuration. Tools like console or Kubernetes can be used for this purpose. 12. How does Prometheus handle metric scraping failures? Prometheus retries failed scrapes and offers alerting rules to notify you about persistent scraping issues. 13. What are some best practices for writing efficient PromQL queries? Utilize range vectors to specify a time range for querying. Leverage subqueries for complex filtering and aggregations. Employ functions like irate and delta for analyzing changes over time. Avoid overly broad queries that can overwhelm the system. 14. How can you secure a Prometheus deployment? Implement user authentication and authorization for access control. Secure communication channels with TLS encryption. Limit scraping permissions for targets. Restrict access to Prometheus UI and APIs. 15. What are some advantages of using remote write in Prometheus? Remote write allows you to send scraped metrics from a Prometheus server to a central storage solution for long-term retention and analysis with other tools. 
16. Explain the push versus pull model for metric collection in Prometheus. Pull model default. Prometheus actively scrapes metrics from targets at predefined intervals. This is the standard approach and works well for most scenarios. Push model. Targets proactively push their metrics to Prometheus at their own pace. This can be useful for highly dynamic environments, but requires additional configuration on the target side. 17. How can you leverage external storage solutions with Prometheus? Prometheus can be configured to write long-term data to external storage solutions like Amazon S3 or Google Cloud Storage. This allows for cost-effective storage of historical data and simplifies disaster recovery. 18. What is Grafana? Grafana is an open source platform for visualization and analysis of time series data. It allows you to create dashboards that display metrics, logs, and other data in a variety of chart formats. 19. What is a Grafana dashboard? A Grafana dashboard is a customizable layout that combines multiple panels each displaying data visualizations from your chosen data source. These panels can be graphs, tables, single stat values, or even world maps. 20. What are the features of Grafana? Here are some key features. Multiple data source support. Connect to various data sources like Prometheus, InfluxDB, Elasticsearch, and more. Rich panel types. Create various visualizations like graphs, heat maps, gauges, and tables. Alerts and notifications. Set up alerts based on specific conditions and receive notifications via email, Slack, etc. Annotations. Add context to your dashboards with notes and timestamps. Sharing and collaboration. Share dashboards and folders with your team for collaborative monitoring. 21. Can Grafana function independently of Prometheus? Yes. Grafana can work with many data sources besides Prometheus. It can connect to popular options like InfluxDB, Elasticsearch, and even cloud-based monitoring services. 22. How do you create a dashboard in Grafana? The process involves Choosing a data source Adding panels and selecting the desired visualization type Configuring the panel by defining the metrics, time range, and other options Laying out the panels on the dashboard and customizing its appearance 23. How would you go about troubleshooting a situation where alerts are not firing as expected? Here's a breakdown of troubleshooting steps. Verify the alert configuration. Ensure the condition, notification settings, and data source are defined correctly. Check data source connectivity. Confirm that Grafana can access the data source where the metric resides. Review metric values. Analyze the metric data to ensure it's reaching the expected values. Examine logs. Check Grafana logs for errors related to alert evaluation or notification sending. 24. How to monitor Kubernetes pod restarts in Prometheus and Grafana? 1. Leverage cube state metrics. Most effectively, Utilize the cube state metrics exporter. This exporter scrapes information directly from the Kubernetes API server and provides various pod metrics, including restarts. Deployment. You can deploy cube state metrics as a daemon set to ensure it runs on every node in your cluster. Utilize tools like Helm charts for easy deployment. Two, identify the metric. The relevant metric for pod restarts is cube underscore pod underscore 
container underscore status underscore restarts underscore total. This metric tracks the total number of restarts experienced by each container within a pod. 3. Prometheus configuration, optional. While not strictly necessary, you can optionally configure a scraping job in Prometheus for cube state metrics. This ensures Prometheus scrapes the exporter and exposes the metrics through its own API. 4. Grafana Dashboard Create a new dashboard in Grafana. Choose Prometheus as the data source or your configured scraping job if applicable. Add a new panel, for example, Graph. In the Query Editor, enter the following prom QL query. Cube underscore pod underscore container underscore status underscore restarts underscore total namespace exclamation mark equals cube system. 25. What is the purpose of node underscore exporter and what metrics does it collect? Node underscore exporter is a lightweight tool that collects various resource utilization metrics from the underlying host operating system of a Kubernetes node. Metrics collected. It gathers metrics like CPU usage, memory usage, disk IO, network traffic, and kernel processes. 26. How can node underscore exporter be used to monitor the health of Kubernetes nodes? Node monitoring. By scraping node underscore exporter running on each Kubernetes node, you can monitor the health and resource consumption of the physical machines hosting your cluster. Alerting. Utilize the collected metrics to set up alerts in Prometheus for situations like high CPU usage, low disk space, or memory pressure on individual nodes. 27. When would you use JMX underscore exporter in conjunction with Kubernetes monitoring? JMX underscore exporter is an exporter that exposes Java applications metrics through JMX, Java Management Extensions, over HTTP. Use case. If your Kubernetes cluster runs Java applications within pods, Deploy JMX underscore exporter alongside them to scrape JMX metrics for those applications. Metrics collected. This can include memory usage, garbage collection times, thread pool saturation, and custom application-specific metrics exposed through JMX.